All right, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. My first time in Puerto Vallarta. I spent a ton of time in Cancun, too much time in Cancun actually, but I've never stayed in Puerto Vallarta. That changes right now. I'm here for 15 days, five different hotels. I'm doing three budget luxury hotels, one luxury hotel, and then one ultra hyper elite luxury hotel. You're gonna wanna see that video for sure. The trip officially starts right now. Well, actually, let me finish this room tour and then we can really get to the trip. By the way, uh, I did an extended room tour on this room, so if you wanna know all the details, instead of just this quick 60 to 90 second rundown, check the link in the description below. I gave a full rundown of this unbelievable, that's right, unbelievable Sheridan Suite. I can't believe this thing is budget luxury, but it is. We have a huge walk-in closet, two nice robes right there. This family room is awesome. I mean, you have an ultra soft bed. You have a love seat. You have two really comfortable chairs. And look at these panoramic views into the ocean. This opens so you can really smell the ocean. You can hear uh, the liveliness out there. And then as you pan back around, we're on the penthouse level. This is floor number 23, and we have our own private penthouse deck. Two of your personal private lounge chairs right here, and then you have your personal deck right here. It does not end here. We have our own private outdoor jacuzzi tub. So if you want to go from the tub out here or from out here to the tub, you can easily do that. And it does not end here. We also have access to the bathroom. And we have an exposed shower. This is one of the coolest showers I've ever had on the channel. It looks like an outdoor shower, but it's not. But it might as well be really tall rain head. And look at this almost floor to ceiling glass that lets in all the liveliness and all the nature that this beautiful location and city has to offer. This room is unreal. I never thought I'd say that. This Sheridan is unreal. That is it for this brief room rundown. I'll talk about the room more. Uh, probably later in this video, but we need to get to it. I'm here for three days, two pools, five restaurants. Am I going to be able to do it all? I don't know, but we need to get started immediately. All right, I have a really dense update for you already. It's only been a couple hours. I already have a huge update. Before I get to it, take a look at that sunset. Striking. It is my first official night in Puerto Vallarta. Listen to the ocean, listen to the music down there, catching that sunset. I love the buildings on the cliffs over there. This could be my new city. I may never go back to Cancun. It's only day one, but uh, I'm really liking it so far. Okay, let's get to this update and make it as quick as possible. I had every intention of going down to the pool and starting my day off with an inaugural drink, a ceremonial drink, right? Let's get this trip started, but it started to rain. And it's supposed to rain for like the next eight days. But in Mexico, it's just like Miami, it rains on and off. So I am certain, well, at least I'm proactive, that we're gonna get some sunshine over the next few days. I, I did mention that I'm staying on the penthouse level. Uh, this is level 23 and there is a club. There's a Sheridan club on this level and it's just like a Marriott club or a Ritz-Carlton club where if you have the status, the clout, or if you pay the extra fee, you get access to that club. And the most important thing is that uh, they serve breakfast from seven to 11 and hors d'oeuvres from four to seven. So you basically can get two meals a day for free if you pay for that club access, or if you're like me, if you just have access to it, that's a game changer. So for those of you that are budget-minded, value-minded, I would highly recommend paying for it. It might be an extra 20, 40, 50 dollars, but if you eat two meals a day there for two or three days, it's gonna pay for itself many times over. Good morning, it is morning, but barely. Who said anything about rain? Not this guy. What amazing weather. So I'm gonna head to the pool right now. Before I do that, I'm gonna tell you about 9.99 last night. The place was unbelievable. It is a luxurious sports bar. I've actually never seen a sports bar that luxurious before. 
great small bites and awesome drinks. Every drink you saw was $8. That Fuego drink was literally on fire. I've never seen anything like that. If I didn't have so much to do on this trip, I'd be hanging out there every single night. I loved $9.99. So, there are two pools here. This beach is probably not my style, but I'm gonna head to one pool and hopefully head to the other. Let's go do this. Put your money on the back seat. Don't give a hell paparazzi, baby. You know they're always trying to get me. A million dollars at the night scene. I can make it rain on you. I can make your dreams come true. But let me get this straight. Don't ever need no man to tell me what to do. Finishing up at pool number one. It really filled out. It's about 1.30 right now. I like it out here. You got palm trees that encompass this entire place. There's places for shade, like the swim up bar where I chilled at pretty much this entire time. You have like a little island out there to get some shade. Really diverse population out here. Got some singles, got some couples, got some families. You got me. So I'm gonna finish up this drink. It's that blue Hawaiian. It's my third one. It's my favorite. This thing is electric, literally. We're gonna head to the second pool. Definitely more kids and more families, but also, ironically, the quieter pool. So even though there were kids and families at both, this definitely seems to be the family pool and then the action pool. So that is it for my pool day. I don't know if I'm going to get to the beach tomorrow. I may check it out. I may just come back to the pool. Who knows? But for now, it's time to get back up to the room, recoup, and figure out tonight. Who knew I was going to be in this hot tub at some point in this video? How could I not be? It's a staple feature of this room. And it's one of the best places to be in this entire property. And that's because I have my own personal penthouse, rooftop, jacuzzi tub. I'm able to take in amazing scenes like this sunset again for the second night in a row. And even though it's starting to rain right now, and it's still beautiful in Mexico, even when it rains, um, I'm covered. So I can stay out here as long as I want. I want to talk about Club 23, and I want to talk about what I'm going to do tonight and tomorrow. On uh, Club 23, you saw that footage. Uh, the food is sensational. It tasted exquisite. The portions are unlimited. Like I said, that place could be leveraged very, very strategically. So if you were budget-minded or frugally conscious and you wanted to... Uh, Go to Club 23, get your fill in the morning, and then get your fill in the evening. You quite potentially might not have to eat anywhere else uh, during your stay here. So I like it even when I am going to eat at other restaurants because I'm just able to pop in for snacks, uh, beverages, adult beverages um, at any time. It just it's really really convenient. And plus, it's just right down the hall, so that's nice. Um, I'm not hungry right now at all for the reasons I just talked about, and that was over three hours ago. I'm absolutely stuffed. Uh, but I do want to go to Gaviotas, which is the absolute best restaurant on site. It's critically acclaimed. They have a critically acclaimed restaurant here. Um, do I go tonight when I'm not that hungry? That would be the budget-minded thing to do. Or do I go tomorrow uh, when I'm really, really hungry? That would be the fun-minded thing to do. So I need to weigh those two options really on 50-50. Uh, whatever I don't do tonight or tomorrow, I would just replace that with sushi. It looks to be a really fun sushi place here on site. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to wake up, check the weather, could be another pool day, could be a beach day, could be a random day, we are going to find out. So I'm off to dinner, I'm going to hit you with that footage, and I'll see you in the morning.
All right, day number three at the Sheraton Bougainvilleas. I have a lot to tell you about. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Uh, last night I did have sushi. I know, I know, sushi in Mexico, but sometimes you get tired of the Mexican cuisine. And also, sushi, sushi? Sushi in Mexico is no different than pizza in America, if you really think about it. So anyway, I went over to the sushi place. It's called Umai. I walked in and I was immediately underwhelmed. The place was lackluster, it was small, it had no edge, no personality, and no bar seating. And if you know me, you know I cannot stand dining alone at a table. I need to dine at the bar. I put all those things aside, and I actually ended up liking my meal ultimately. Both the cocktails and the cuisines had really creative menus. I've never seen that in Fuego Sushi Roll before. That was a crowd pleaser and a showstopper. Uh, that doctor drink was absolutely amazing. And overall, the meal was a tremendous value, pretty much like this entire stay has been. This morning I woke up and I kind of had a little bit of some free time. My plan was to go down to the pool, uh, sit at that swim up bar in my patented corner down there and just chill. I only planned on having one drink, that blue Hawaiian, uh, but then my waiter, Gamma, came up and says, I got something special for you. And that's when he brought out the smiley face. In fact, this drink didn't even have a name. I named it the smiley. Uh, it was like a blue Hawaiian inside that coconut with fruit on the outside, dressed up as a smiley face. Uh, if you're gonna come here and order it, good luck. I would just ask for Gamma and then ask for the smiley. Good morning. It is my last few minutes here at, uh, at Sheraton Bougainvillas. And it's kind of bittersweet. It's bitter because I really don't want to leave. I had a great stay here. Just how great? I will expound on that in just a second. You might be surprised. Uh, but it is sweet also because I have four outstanding hotels on the horizon. You know at Coolest when I do these trips like this, I always like to elevate my game. So this is just my base entry hotel. Yes, it's part of my budget luxury series, but apparently the four after this are even better. Is it gonna turn out that way? We're gonna find out, but uh, I'm really excited to get on with this trip. Before I can do that, I need to tell you about this room, this property, my experience. But before I do any of that, I need to tell you about my dinner last night at Gaviotas. Uh, Gaviotas is a four diamond restaurant, but I'm a little perplexed because I see no reason why it shouldn't be a five diamond restaurant. When I take a look at all the criteria that I use to, to judge a restaurant, it had all of them. Location, Puerto Vallarta, one of, of the best properties in Puerto Vallarta, the Sheridan property, which is Four Diamond. It's a top 10 hotel. So you have location, views, it had views over the pool and over the beach and over the ocean, floor to ceiling windows, fantastic ambiance, outstanding service. The menu was really creative and wide and the food delivered. So. I thought it should have been a five diamond restaurant. I think the only reason it wasn't was because this property is only four diamond. Uh, so maybe you can't have a five diamond restaurant on a four diamond property. That's the only thing I can think of. But if you are looking for that luxury dining experience, uh, you are gonna find it here on property at Sheridan. So my favorite memory of the night uh, was that they did not have a bar. So that's the second night in a row they did not have a bar or bar seating. Uh, and I almost walked out again, but I didn't do it the night before and I had a great experience. So I figured, why not get outside your comfort zone? And I ended up sitting in the lounge area and they had these beautiful oak tables, like these oak tree tables, they were spectacular. And they ended up wheeling out the mixologist with his bar cart and he made me personalized drinks all night. Um, my favorite one was the smoked papaya drink. 
I will never ever forget that drink. So the service was really the most memorable thing. The fact that they kind of catered to me, they didn't have a bar, that was really important to me. But they sat me down in the lounge and then brought over the mobile bar cart. That was just a really, really neat experience. So I love Gaviotas. The price, oh, the price. The price was under $100 with tip. The price was under $80 with tip. The price was under $70 with tip. I can keep going. I'm probably going to talk about it in a different video. I was just godsmacked about how cheap that dinner was and really this overall property was. And I think that's going to be a great segue uh, into my experience here. Let's talk about, um, about the property. It really delivered. Um, it has that resort type feel. It is budget luxury, but it is luxury. I mean, two outstanding pools. The pools were ensconced with palm trees. Um, open air walkways everywhere, basically open air everywhere. So if you like that villa or via atmosphere, that vibe, that tranquil nature vibe, where you're kind of just intertwined with nature and the outdoors, you're gonna find it here. Um, lots of outdoor dining, the lobby is outdoor, lots of outdoor restaurants, lots of outdoor bars. Uh, even the hallways are outdoor. So you're just really intermixed with nature. And if that's something you're looking for, you're gonna find it on this property. This next quality I was gonna talk about being negative, but I actually think it's a positive. This is a cookie cutter place, okay? Uh, and what is a cookie cutter place? A cookie cutter is a place where it's kind of generic, it kind of has mass appeal, it doesn't have a lot of personality, but you know what? Yes, this place is cookie cutter, but yes, this place has personality. This place does have a little bit of edge. Um, but the nice thing about being cookie cutter is that you can book the vacation here and not have to worry about it because it is so appealing. It has six different restaurants, two different pools, it has a beach, it has tennis courts, it has a spa, it has activities, it has a lot of different types of rooms, it has a timeshare component if you want to buy that, it has an all-inclusive component if you want to buy that. If you don't want to do all-inclusive like yours truly, you could go off campus and eat. So yes, it's cookie cutter, it has mass appeal, but because it has mass appeal, it's pretty much gonna cover all of your bases. So if you want sushi, you want Mexican, you want all you can eat, you want a buffet, you want all inclusive, you don't, it's gonna be able to cover you. So at first I was like, ah, this place is a little cookie cutter, but you know what? If you're just looking to book a two or three day vacation in Puerto Vallarta, go to a property and not have to think, it's pretty much gonna deliver, you're gonna wanna check out the Sheridan Bougainvilleas. Uh, last but not least, I need to talk about value. Uh, I've been hinting towards this pretty much all trip. I really am just shocked at how cheap this property is. Um, and I have a lot of experience in Cancun, but I don't have a lot of experience on the western side or the uh, southern side of Mexico. And wow, compared to Cancun, this place is ungodly cheap. And like I said, my meal last night was under $70 with a tip. I feel that meal in Vegas would have been $150 to $200. And then this outstanding, remarkable, dare I say somewhat breathtaking room, penthouse level, top floor, 20, 23 stories up, my own private deck, my own private jacuzzi, uh, multiple room, amazing bathroom, this place is just unbelievable, and this room was under $200, so if you want to talk about budget, luxury, value, bargain, I'm not sure it gets any better than the Sheridan Bougainvilleas. Now I do have to say this, this room and this property is not without its faults, you get what you pay for it because it is budget luxury. You are gonna have some shortcomings. In this room, for example, the bathroom door did not shut and that may seem like a small qualm, but when the sun comes out at six o'clock in the morning, that light went right through the bathroom and hit the bedroom. So that was a really unfortunate. Also, my air conditioning machine had gremlins in it. Whenever I turned it up, which you need to do in Mexico, it made this really loud whirring noise and rattling noise. So that was quite annoying. And also this room does have two separate air conditioned units. The bathroom air conditioner pretty much was malfunctioning. It didn't work, which means my room was really cold in this area, but when I was getting ready in the bathroom, it was really hot, muggy, and sweaty, which was just really, really annoying. So yes, it is luxurious, but it is entry-level luxury. You get what you pay for, and there were some shortcomings. So overall, I enjoyed my time here. I would say to rate this hotel against all my other hotels, it's a good hotel, but as a budget luxury hotel, this is a great to outstanding hotel. It's a top 10 hotel in Puerto Vallarta. It's Ford Diamond. It has two amazing pools, beach access, six restaurants. It really delivered on a lot of aspects.